Hi guys, hello. This is a tutorial video on how to make a forum signature. Sort of like something on this website called Planet Renders. Uh, uh, here they don't have any uh, viewable, but yeah. Basically what it is is just something you make and you put your signature on it from a game or a car or anything it just looks really nice so to start off you're gonna need to go to file new or control n which will open up the screen sort of like this and you're gonna title it whatever you want and the width you'll have to put it at 400 height 100 resolution 72 it just shows 300 for some reason 72, 72. the color mode G, um, RGB color 8-bit uh, and transparent background then you can press OK now you're gonna need to find a nice color for the background which I already have picked out it's 565656 five, six, five, six. it's a gray color You can press G for the bucket tool and fill that in. Then make a new layer and call this blood. And I mean blood spats. They're they're um tools that you can find off DeviantArt.com. Uh, sort of something like this. I just need to find a nice red. I had a nice, had a nice red in mine right there. And then just don't overdo this. So there you go. Now make a new one and call this blood two. Get an, oh, another one. Good. Actually, this one will be good because it looks like it'll, it'll look way better. Um, there you go. And this, I'm gonna make it look like it's been there dried up for a while. So I'm gonna bring the opacity down, which you can find right at the where you make a new layer at the top right corner where it says opac opacity alright now we're gonna need to make a new layer and put this right on top of the background layer and we can call this um, let's call this crazy cause we're just gonna go crazy on it right now you're gonna need a uh, grungy tool uh, sort of something like this you just need to bring the opacity I mean not bring the opacity down just bring the size down and then pick a nice color I always pick black for this part well I just want to pick black for this one. That is nice. I like it. Now we just need to add a new layer and bring this all the way up to the top. This one's going to be at the top. Right. And now is the time where we add the picture and stuff. So you're going to open up your internet provider, uh, whichever it may be. I use Mozilla Firefox, so you can open that up. Mine's already opened up and you're going to want to go to this website called planet renders and make an account it's free and it takes like two seconds to make literally sorry and then go to search and search killzone and i found this nice picture and all you need to do is click on the picture wait for it to open up once it's opened it'll show something like this 
then you press control I mean right right click and save as and then you just go to uh, Adobe Photoshop open and open your picture up I really don't know what it was called though most likely something ha has to do with something that has to do with Killzone because it's a Killzone picture. Yes, Killzone 2. Open that up, and all you'll need to do is press Control A, Control C, and then F F F, and then find the project we're working on, which is this one, and just. Press Control B so you can paste that image. Then press Control T so you can shrink it to whatever size you want. This is a pretty big picture, so it takes a while. It might look kind of blurry, but it's alright. It might look kind of blurry, but just press the first tool, apply, then it'll clear up. Now, you can just bring the opacity down if you want. And all you'll need to do is add text with your name on it and save so I'll just do that right now and you can add whatever color I'll, I'll add red I'll make this uh, I'll make this the same as this is about the same as that is and then just pick wherever you buy I'm gonna have to bring the size down because it's too damn big. By one dot two dash k k dot o. save and you're done alright thanks for watching and I hope this helped